In this video, we will explore the difference between normal and supernormal profit. By the time the video is done, you should be able to explain what supernormal and normal profit are. Before we distinguish between normal profit and supernormal profit, we need to understand how economists measure profit. If you've studied business, you are probably familiar with accounting profit. Economists account for the opportunity cost of resources used in production, which leads to the consideration of implicit costs. In this visual, we can see that economists take accounting profit one step further. As they account for implicit costs, calculations of profit can vary between the economist and accounting approaches. Let me explain with a numerical example, and let's take this step by step. Suppose Sam starts a company that earns her $100,000 in revenue. In order to calculate Sam's accounting and economic profit, I need to subtract her explicit costs, which include things like rent, advertising, and insurance. Explicit costs are costs incurred by the firm for the use of resources it does not own. Here is where economists and accountants differ. The implicit costs are considered by the economist, but not the accountant. Implicit costs are the opportunity costs of using self-owned resources in production. In this example, it would be the salary foregone by Sam's use of her time to run this business. From the accountant's perspective, Sam's firm is making a profit of positive $60,000, that's simply subtracting the explicit costs from the revenue earned. Now let's take a look at the economist's perspective. Since Sam's time could have been used to earn $70,000 in a salaried position, the economist would say running this business is actually resulting in a loss of $10,000. In purely financial terms, Sam would be better off returning to her salaried position as opposed to running this business. On the surface, this may seem simple, but there are various reasons someone may forego higher earnings in a job as opposed to self-employment. These figures could be in the first year of operating a business in which earnings are below what's anticipated in the future. Also, the negative economic profit may be a sacrifice the entrepreneur is willing to make to work for themselves. Normal profit occurs when a firm earns zero economic profit, which sounds bad, but could actually be considered a good thing. I'll change the numbers around a little bit from before. With revenue of $110,000, and similar explicit costs, my accounting profit is $70,000. If I subtract Sam's implicit costs of $70,000, that leaves her with zero economic profit. This just means that Sam's business is earning enough profit to match her next best alternative, which is working in a salaried position. Supernormal profit occurs when a firm earns a positive economic profit. The difference in this example is that Sam is earning more from the business than she could have working in a salaried position. Her accounting profit would be equal to $150,000 minus the $40,000 in explicit costs. Therefore, accounting profit equals $110,000. After subtracting the implicit costs of $60,000, Sam is left with a positive economic profit of $50,000. That wraps up this video on the difference between normal and supernormal profits. As we discuss the different market structures further, it will become clearer and clearer why these two concepts are very important. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll do my best to reply. That's us done for now and I will see you in the next one.